So got another pair of Vibergs. Oddly enough, this says E after the 310. The last one didn't actually say that. It just said 10 and a half. You saw these are the CF Stead Tobacco Phoenix. I've actually already opened these again as well, but I want to do a quick video because this is different. So first thing out the bat, you do get the same laces. So here's the, like the, I guess, known Viber cotton. And then, I mean, they're good quality rawhide laces. That's nothing new from the last one, but this is different. So I bought these from Viberg directly, not through a retailer. And you get like a, this little card showing them cutting the, for the, the, the vamp, I guess, for the stitch down flap. Talks about the stitch down construction. And I can maybe pull up a photo of these close up. Uh, and then a, a product care guide. I'll do the same with this, but let's see, smooth grain leather, cast, Castile soap, huh? So what's different here is they don't give you any Venetian shoe cream. At least I didn't get it with this order. I don't know if this was a mistake, but no Venetian shoe cream. No, I said, uh, I think in my other video, I called it a Candace bag. It's obviously a cotton bag, but, uh, so you just get the laces on that and, and that's kind of it. No polishing, you know, whatever cloth to put the, the cream on. So I don't know what that's about. If they're just trying to save money or whatnot, but you do get the same nice, you know, boot bags. And here's something else I noticed is weird. This is a different bag. It says Viberg on it, first of all. Uh, but it feels weird. I was like, God, this almost feels like, like those cheap raincoats you get for your kids. I mean, I got one for myself this season too, with all the crazy rain out here. But uh, it's kind of a nice feeling bag. Oh, and before I show you the boot, I notice even this, it's like talking about how it's a water soluble bag, biodegradable free of microplastics. It's kind of interesting. It's a nice bag though. It's like really soft versus just the regular plastic bag. But this is obviously why you came. Look at this. Look at this boot. So in my other video, I talked about some of the, you know, I kind of felt like were construction issues. These don't have any issues at all. These are perfect. Sole. All the stitching looks nice. I mean, if I was gonna nitpick, I think one of them, not this one, you can see the top threads a little bit, but I mean, it's that's nothing. I, mean, I haven't worn them yet, but they're not all crinkled up like crazy, like the first pair, which was a, what was it, British, no, English tan Dublin. I kept calling it natural Dublin, I don't know why. I thought it, I was confused. But this tobacco Phoenix is pretty amazing. Not sure, let me see if I can turn this up here. Looks like it's getting kind of dark in here. So it said this was brown and on the pictures, I'm like, no, it's just the black day night. I was wrong. It's really hard to tell, but this is a super dark brown. If I had them next to each other, you'd see it. The other day nights are literally, or at least on my other boot is black. The smell of these is amazing. And look at this, they like, they kind of ground the edge of it to kind of make it nice. Hopefully that shows up in the camera. The finishing on this is way better. You can see the stitching. There's no overlap issues like last time. There's two separate rows, kind of beveled edge. But yeah, these are just phenomenal. Oh, and I guess they considered this a lined boot compared to the other one. 
so they did this different. So instead of having a little Viberg tag and the, the whatever they call it, where there's a little ring of leather, and then you could see the inside, these are lined. It's hard to see if this is coming in the camera, but basically there is no inner lining. I don't know, this kind of reminds me of my Alden 403s, 405s rather, and unlike the other one, it actually does say, say E right there. Is that showing up? I'm trying to see my screen here. Uh, so this is different. I'm guessing it might fit slightly different. We'll see. Uh, but man, these are freaking amazing. Hopefully shows up nice in the camera. So this, I get it like perfect. No, no quality control problems whatsoever. Let's pull the other one out. But yeah, there's nothing else in the back in the box. Here's that bag again with the that text on there about it. I guess it's like some recyclable thing. It's a nice bag though. I'm not gonna keep the boots in them, but I'll probably keep those. Uh, you know what? I guess if I'm gonna be crazy anal. This is a little bit off. Uh, look at that in the camera. You can see that, but I mean, it's it's like because this is just perfection right here. If you look at these two rows, but I mean overall, still say that's really good. So yeah, maybe they kind of blew it a little bit there. And this is what I was talking about. I noticed if you look at the bottom, you can see a couple of the top stitches that got pulled through the bottom. But I mean, that's like nitpicking. And they did the same thing where they kind of finish the edge on this. But yeah, man, look at that. Amazing. Smell awesome. This one actually has this kind of interesting, I don't even know how to describe that. It's not wrinkles, it's just something in the leather. I don't think the other one had that. Gorgeous boot. The heel on that one, I guess it's a little bit tighter. It's just obviously differences in grain. This one kind of has a little bit of that texturing that this has on the side, different cuts. I'm sure these are gonna patina like amazing, but the, the look at the toes, they're like no scuffs, no dents, no crazy wrinkling. This is supposedly really hard to last this because it's such a extreme toe, but they did a freaking fantastic job on this pair. Here's something if I was going to get crazy. So there's just definitely like a little nick in the leather there. Hard to say whether this was in the, this was in the hide before they cut it or maybe this happened during manufacturing. I don't care though, because one it's minimal. I bet you a little cream, it might be less obvious. And this is the inside. So, you know, your pant leg's gonna be over this and it's on the inside, like it's, that's what, that's what like you hear other people say this. this. If you're gonna have a little bit of issue on the leather, this quarter, the inner quarter, do it there. Man, these are phenomenal. So, I'll give them credit. You know, are they overpriced a little bit? Probably a little bit. But man, these are crazy nice. I apologize for the crap light. It's already dark. It's late. I just wanted to get a recording done before I, I'm gonna put them on tonight. But yeah, these are amazing. This brown is dope, dude. I did not, I just thought it'd be black. But that super dark, I don't know, it's almost like a charcoaly brown thing. Man. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna lace these up with the, so I did with, I did the cotton on my natural Dublin. <clears throat> I think to change it up, and I don't know, these just have a different vibe. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with the rawhide this time. See how that goes. I was a little nervous about the rawhide digging into this without a kilty, but this is freaking thick, this tongue, super thick. 
So it ain't gonna ever wear through that. I mean, it's because it's two layers, it's lined. But man, the smell of this is freaking incredible. Let's see if we can get in there. See that logo? Funny, it says E. The other one didn't say E. But I, what I was told by someone on Reddit was, or maybe it was YouTube. I'm trying to remember where I saw it. Someone had told me that the natural, uh, sorry, yeah, natural Dublin. No, I kept saying that. Uh, English tan Dublin, three tens, my other video. Supposedly those came out in 2020. So I guess that retailer just had, because they only had one pair left in my size and ten and a half, which is like UK sizing. The box actually, if you look at it, says 11.5 uh, US. So I know some people say it's not exactly UK, but Viberg seems to think they're UK. Uh, where was I going with that? <clears throat> oh, they had one pair left. So, you know, that was maybe just some one off from a order they had slowly sold all of them over the year, last two years. And then I bought them, you know, the beginning of, well, not just, whatever, some weeks back, early 2023. So, oh, look at that. There's some kind of interesting. This leather is very interesting. So this is supposedly, when I read the website, it's a, they call it a bovine leather. So, you know, it's cow leather versus some other animal. Uh, like it's not horse horse leather but it says it's waterproof so that was kind of what it was I assume it means it's chrome tanned so that was kind of why I wanted to pick these up my English tan Dublin are veg tan and yeah I've gotten little drips of water on them doing day-to-day -day stuff you know you use the sink and you get a little I, I'm super careful but you never know, get a little bit of water on them or you go outside I would never wear them in the rain though and it would be nice if I have a 310 option that I'm not, I'm not going to get them soaked. I mean, geez, $800 boots, but a pair that I'm not as worried about. I posted about, yeah, you can see a little bit of wrinkling here. This is sort of, you even see this, I see this on my 11067 Knicks. It's just really hard to last over these giant toes. <clears throat> that looks fine to me. Uh, anyway, I wanted a pair that I could, one, I like the look of this leather. It's really interesting. This whole tobacco, dark, with like a red undertone, purplish, uh, kind of has a little bit of, uh, colorate, chromexol or whatever, cordovan, that whole reddish color, but different. More of, this is more brown. I just think as it wears, the lightness will come through and I think it'll look really neat. Uh, so I like that and... You know, you wear your chrome tan boots out in the rain, they get soaked, they dry, they look fine. Be nice to be not as worried about it. But it was just, I mean, honestly, it's just an excuse to buy another 310. Uh, this is their current offering. I mean, they have, a, I think they have one other one, a kudu or something that's weird. I don't like it, I think it's ugly. Uh, and then they have like one pair of that olive chrome pack from, I think that was an older model, still on their site, like a size seven or something. That's a cool leather, but they don't have my size. Uh, but this one popped up, I don't know, two, three weeks ago, and I was just staring at it, and finally I was like, screw it. I'll buy them before they're out of my size. There's not a lot of these 310s. So I got a light pair, and now I got a dark pair. I think these are going to look sick with a dark denim, but I'll, I'll put them on and maybe film a video. Cheers.